We're working with Berkeley and Fermilab as part to develop magnets which could be used for an upgrade of the LHC. Brookhaven already has a significant presence at this new atom smasher which is being built at the CERN laboratory in Geneva, Switzerland. The Atlas experiment for the U.S. is headquartered at Brookhaven and the magnet division has already contributed 20 magnets. The machine's still under construction, but the technology of making magnets that could be used for an upgrade of the machine five to seven years from now is so difficult that the Department of Energy has allowed the, the laboratories, Brookhaven Berkeley Fermilab, to work on R&D for the magnets so they'll be ready in time using a new kind of superconductor. The machine here is the automatic winding machine which we built a couple of years ago with magnet R&D funds. We've adapted it for use with the LHC uh, upgrade conductor and uh, is performing very well. What you see here is the automatic winding machine and the carriage moving so that one side of one complete turn can be laid down and the carriage gets as far away from you as it's programmed to go. Then it will stop and the winding carriage will swing back around and put the cable around the other end of the coil. The coil is wrapped in the white material, which is fiberglass, which is the electrical insulation, so that we have good insulation between the turns so the electricity goes in the right places. The new kind of superconductor compared, for example, to the superconductor that's in RIC or in an MRI magnet operates at a higher field and at a higher temperature than the old kind of superconductor. The advantage of that in machine performance is that when you have a lot of collisions, the collision particles hit the magnets and they produce heat. So these new magnets will be able to tolerate more heat than the old kind of magnets. Also, they operate at higher field. We're going to install them where we do the final focusing of the beams, focusing like lenses focus light, final focus of the beams in order to get more collisions. These new magnets go to higher field. We can do better focusing, like a better lens, and so we'll get more collisions. So there are two really important accelerated physics advantages to this new technology, and that's why we're putting so much effort into it.